those of you who are group leaders and drivers. The plan is that we'll have breakfast tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. We will go ahead and load up at 8.30. We ran the math for you, and for basically everyone that drove into this event, it is closer for you to go home directly from the ark rather than turn, return to KMBC and then depart for home for there. So you know, that means you'll need to have your bedding and luggage and everything loaded up before we leave for the ark. So you'll travel in your groups that you, that you came with to the ark, um, and so we'll have quite the caravan, uh, whatever, doing that. If you are returning to KMBC, we're taking a bus from here. So you, those of you who are doing that part of the trip, um, you will we'll be headed up, and then we'll be returning to KMBC so that, don't freak out, you're not gonna get left behind or anything. Um, but those of you uh, who came in the groups, um, basically it's the best plan for you guys to just leave directly from the ark when we're concluded there. So, at 8.30, we'll begin the loading process and everything, um, getting all of the luggage and everything loaded in and everybody ready to go, and then we will caravan uh, up to the ark, leaving, no, leaving here no later than nine. If we're all ready to go before that, we'll leave before that, um, so we have a little bit more time at the ark. When we arrive at the ark, we need to try to park all together in the parking lot because we have to, you know, get you your tickets and your parking passes for the vehicle. Now again, KMBC is covering all of the expenses for that, but make sure that before you go into the ark, drivers especially, that you see me and get your parking pass for the vehicle because they're required when you exit um, when you exit the ark, and we may not all be exiting at the same time. So we'll have to group up in the parking lot. We will have lunch provided there in the parking lot before we go into the ark. So we've got sandwiches and stuff ready, so we'll grab a quick bite to eat um, and then get on the buses and shuttles um, that the ark provides to go into the ark together from there. So once you get your tickets, uh, which I'll be, I, will, I and the ark representative will be doing that together, uh, once you get your tickets and we get on the shuttles to go into the ark, basically from there, uh, your group can decide your own departure time, whatever works best for you guys um, and your traveling home plans. Um, that's, that's up to you guys. So we are going to have quite a large contingency at the ark. It'll be great. A lot of representation from Kentucky Mountain Bible College and from this event. So we're looking forward to that. But I wanted to make sure that we had covered all of those details. Um, we are making a stop for those that are riding our bus, we are making a stop in Lexington on the way back home. Um, so if, it, if you're more Lexington direction and you need to pick up in Lexington, uh, we will be making a stop at the McDonald's on exit 115, I think it is. Um, and so you can connect with whoever's picking you up and they can pick you up there. We've got planned times for that and then we will be bringing everybody else back here to campus. We intend to be back here somewhere in the ballpark of six o'clock. Um, you can text people and let them know um, the pickup time when we leave the ark. So if you have any questions on any of that, please let me know. I wanted to make sure that we'd gone over that as a group so we have a basic idea of what we're doing. So we're probably taking, you know, 20 or so vehicles up to the ark and kind of a big caravan. So we want to make sure that we get back together again when we get to the, to the parking lot there. So we are really excited about that. Uh, the Ark is a world-class attraction. If you've not been there before, uh, three stories, actual size Noah's Ark uh, with a lot of content and a lot of material. So this is going to be really awesome. They also have a petting zoo and a number of other things set up around there. Um, so it's quite the experience. We're looking forward to that. All right. So now we'll get back to the talent show. How's that sound? Uh, so again, we're glad that you're here. Uh, before we kick off the talent uh, show part, I have some presentations to make. <clears throat> so it is my privilege to award, uh, to present the scholarships that were awarded by the judging panels uh, this afternoon. <clears throat> um, as you know, we have a number of scholarships available for top performers. Uh, that were chosen by the judges, and the judges also selected uh, a number of runner-up scholarships that they um, see promising talent and would like to um, see you develop skills further and believe that you have potential at Kentucky Mountain Bible College to become 
um, even more skilled in these areas. Um, so I'll be presenting um, several scholarships in that area, and then not all of the people receiving scholarships this evening have been asked to participate in the talent show this evening. Those of you who, who are participating in the talent show this evening have been asked. So for, if you are freaking out that you're going to be called up on the spot, that's not going to happen. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so those have, have already been spoken to. Um, so, but I'm not telling you who they are until it happens because that, of course, keeps the suspense better. So, <clears throat> the first uh, Outstanding Achievement Award for Outstanding Achievement in KMBC's Deluge Talent Competition in the Preaching category is being awarded to Matthew Dickerson. Come on up, Matthew. Congratulations, just go standing up here for me. We have a, oh, and I did mention that. That is the, that is the top performer um, award, and so that is $1,000. Um, the next outstanding achievement award, um, this is an honorable mention in the preaching category, goes to Jesse Hills in the amount of $500. An additional honorable mention, also in the preaching category, is being presented to C.J. O'Neill, also in the amount of $500. We're not done yet. <clears throat> I have an another honorable mention in the area of the preaching category. And this one is being presented to Heath Lewis. Also in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Eve. The next I have is Outstanding Achievement in the Instrumental Performance category. This one is being presented to Arnaud. I'm not going to try your last name. Come on up, man. <laughs> $750. He brought his own fan club. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. The next presentation is for is an honorable mention in the vocal performance um, category. Um, this one is being presented to Alana Ringrose. Alana, there she is. Two hundred fifty dollars. Congratulations. The next is outs for Outstanding Achievement in the Vocal Performance category. This is presented to Rochelle Johnson. She's upstairs. She's coming down. <laughs> The next one is for Outstanding Achievement in Signing Performance, and this is presented to Tori Strickland. $1,000 scholarship. Congratulations, Tori. The next one I have to present is for Outstanding Achievement in the Vocal Performance category. Top performer is being presented to Brianna Shuck. Thank you. 
The next is for outstanding achievement in KMBC's instrumental performance category. This goes to a top performer, Claire Cooper. Last but not least, this is for Outstanding Achievement in KMBC's Vocal Performance category. Also, top performer, Caden Burke. Congratulations, Caden. Give them all a hand. <clears throat> So thank you all very much, and congratulations. Thank you all for participating in our talent competition um, this year in 2019. And we encourage you all to um, consider participating again in future years and bring a lot of friends to join the competition with you. Uh, I thank our judges for their service and also for their generosity. This is a large amount of scholarships that have been awarded. Um, and so thank you very much to the judging panels that worked in the various categories. Uh, very uh, happy for your service. So thank you all again. You may be seated. And you will be hearing from some of them again a little bit later this evening. <clears throat> At this time, it is my opportunity to introduce to you our MC for the evening. This gentleman comes to us from the state of Mississippi. No one even cheered. And he is a current student at Kentucky Mountain Bible College. I invite you to welcome our very own Luke Williamson. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm really nothing special, just here to introduce to you everybody that's going to sing and do whatever tonight. So without further ado, let's get it started with uh, Anthem Trio, I believe. Well, I've been to the river, I've been baptized, I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. I've been changed from the creature that once I was and redeemed is now my name. I've been changed, I'm newborn now, all my life has been rearranged. What a difference it made when the Lord came and stayed in my heart. Oh yes, I've been changed. Though my sins were scarlet, they're white as snow. I was bound, but today I am free. I was lost in the darkness, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. I've been changed, I'm newborn now, all my life has been rearranged what a difference it made when the lord came and stayed in my heart oh yes i've been changed like the poor hebrew children i wandered long in a bare desert land to and fro but i crossed over jordan to canaan's land where the milk and honey flow when it lasts in his presence, I stand above. He will wipe all the tears from my eyes. And I'll thank him for giving a wretch like me lasting hope beyond the skies. I've been 
I've never been to leave my comfort zone arise and follow him like Abraham and Moses I'm choosing to obey and I am confident as I take the step of faith he goes before me I will not be afraid in the midst of darkness Jehovah lights my way in the power of his might I can face my enemy I will leave my fears behind leave my fears behind he goes before me if I need a mountain move and cast into the sea and that's just what he will do if i stand still and believe i'll let him part the waters and open every door because what is best for me is what he has in store he goes before me i will not be afraid in the midst of darkness, Jehovah lights my way. In the power of his might, I can face my enemy. I will leave my fears behind. Leave my fears behind. He goes before me. Through the desert or green pastures, through fire and the rain, the flood of peaceful waters through joy and the pain he goes before me i will not be afraid in the midst of darkness jehovah lights my way in the power of his might i can face my enemy i will before me he goes before me he goes before me he goes before me thank you anthem thank you very much our next performer will be one of our talent contest winners, Miss Brianna Shuck, singing Clean, I believe.
Thank you, Brianna. Our next group is another trio from Kentucky Mountain Bible College. It's Rejoice Trio. So give them a hand. Crucified, buried, risen, ascended, soon coming King, Lord, you are. Adonai, Elohim, ruler of everything, you are the Lord of my heart. Amazed that you know me, Lord, who am I? To think that you loved me enough that you died a death that I can't repay. You carried the cross that I made for you. Father, forgive me what I put you through. I don't deserve. Some just see someone down on their knees, just talking to the air, words lost on a breeze, 
And some just see teardrops fall to the floor. Just a waste of time and not anything more. But it's a direct line to the throne room. time the Lord gave me peace with trouble all around he calmed the storm in me and I remember when I cried out he saved my soul yeah and some have their doubts but I know that I know Joyce, thank you. Our next performer is Tori Strickling signing to Reckless Love. Your hand. Jesus. 
Thank you, Tori. How great is our God's love for us? Well, we have several musicians here at um, KNBC, and a couple of the music majors have been asked to perform. So without further, further ado, it's your own resident host tonight, Luke Williamson.
Thank you, thank you. Next, we have another top talent con <laughs> talent. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Next, we have another top talent performer. It's Claire Cooper uh, playing, I believe, Nearer My God. Thank you, Claire. That was beautiful. Now we have another music major here, Sungman Lee.
Thank you, thank you, Sung Man. Our next performer will be another top talent contestant. It's going to be Caden Burke. I think singing and playing, right? Correct. What are you doing for us? Living hope, living hope, whatever. Okay. Well, Caden. Everybody having a good time so far? I don't know if I'm supposed to say anything, but I'm going to if that's all right. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I've had a really, I guess just a worshipful experience, if that's a word, worshipful. So I've really experienced God as I've gone throughout the weekend and seen what he's doing. It's just truly amazing. So I hope that you guys will worship with me as I sing the song.
How great the chasm that lay between us How high the mountain I could not climb In desperation I turned to heaven And spoke your name into the night Then through the darkness your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul the work is finished the end is written jesus christ my living hope who could imagine so great a mercy what heart could fathom such boundless grace the god of ages stepped down from glory to wear my sin and bear my shame the cross has spoken i am forgiven the king of kings calls me his own beautiful savior i'm yours forever jesus christ my living home hallelujah praise the one who set me free sealed the promise your buried body began to breathe out of the silence the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on thee that's right then came the morning that sealed the promise your buried body began to breathe out of the silence the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me oh jesus yours is the victory
Thank you, Caden. Thank you. And now we're going to close out with the KMBC Choir. So if they'll come on up.
Give everybody one last round of applause. Thank you, all of our talent performers this evening, and thank all of you for being here with us. Our next item is the bonfire. This will actually be located up in the mines. It's this open top strip mine that is just around the corner and up the hill from here. So out front of this building, there are hay rides waiting for you. Um, but there's a couple of things that you'll need to know um, before um, jumping on those hay rides. Number one, use the restrooms here before you go. <laughs> there are none up there. Fair warning. Uh, number two, it has cooled off a little bit outside, so you may want to grab a jacket, and you will definitely want um, good foot gear. Um, so again, fair warning. Um, just a note to drivers, this is our students as well as anybody else that brought anyone. Um, no one else is to drive. Our students are not to drive themselves up. Um, everybody going up needs to be on the vehicles that we have out front. So we have um, two sets of hay rides, a couple other vehicles. There will be plenty of room for everybody, um, so make sure that you're on one of those. Um, there is one section that is kind of steep, so hay ride people, your driver is going to ask you to walk. It's about a 50-yard section, so just be courteous with that. Walk back up and then jump on um, just for that, that one section. Um, so the bonfire, as I understand, is burning and waiting for you. I understand that there will be some roasted hot dogs available, and you'll have the opportunity to roast some marshmallows. We're also going to have a time of worship and a short devotion up there, 
And then we're going to top it off with a special surprise. So we'll be headed that way when we dismiss here. If you want to go change, you can do that quickly. Um, I am not done yet. Hang on. Sit down. Sit down. <clears throat> that, was, that was when we're dismissed, not you are dismissed. But, <laughs> um, but you may, like I said, you want good foot gear, you may want to be in more casual clothes than you're in right now. So, and make sure you go to the restroom. Let's close this, this time in prayer, and then you'll be, we'll be headed out to the bonfire. <clears throat> Our Lord, we thank you so much that we can gather as people that are followers of you and worshipers of you. And Lord, this has been a talent show, but Lord, it has also been a worship service. And we thank you for meeting us here. And Lord, we thank you that you, our Lord, are the overcomer that you have already gone before, you have won the victory, and you invite us to be a part of your winning, victorious kingdom. We thank you and praise you for being the great almighty God that you are. We thank you for all of the um, fun and excitement and friendship that we've had so far in this event. We ask that you'd go with us now to the bonfire. Bless the snacks that we'll be having up there. And bless our time of fellowship as well. We ask that you'd bless each one that is here for Deluge 2019. In Jesus' name, amen. You are dismissed.